<laughs> Hi guys, I hope you're having a splendid day out there, and welcome! Today I'm joined here together with the Finnish YouTuber Alexi himself. Welcome! What's up guys? And today we're doing something different. We're gonna do a true and false game. I'm gonna share some facts, ridiculous facts about Sweden, and we're gonna see some of these are true and some of these are false. And we're gonna do a little game. For each correct answer, you get one point, and for each wrong, you get zero points. You get the fact, you get the. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna jump straight into the game. I'm gonna provide you a fact here, and let's see if it's true or false. Okay, the first fact of today is around the world, people eat around 2 million meatballs at IKEA. Is this true or false? 2 million. Well, I know that. The Swedish meatballs are pretty popular. <laughs> they so are. So I guess it is. It only comes down to the, f the if the number is correct. More than two million meatballs. I would say it's true. It is true. It is true. Ah, yeah. Okay. It, it, it I love, actually I love now meatballs. when I read it, it kind of seems a uh, kind of little. I don't know. It should be more, but it's just at one place. So <laughs> I suppose. Well, I that's guess. nice. One point to Alexi. Yeah. One point. <laughs> Yksi point. I don't know how to say it in, in Finnish. Piste. Yksi piste. Yksi, yksi pi, piste. Yes. Uh, so, fact number two. And this one is a pretty controversial one, but I want to bring it up just because I got a lot of comments regarding this. There are 17% of practicing Muslims in Sweden. Is this true or false? 17% are, are mus Muslims. Was that yeah, and practicing. Active Muslims. Oh, hmm, that's quite a big number. Could it be true? Well, there's been some like immigration and stuff lately. Uh, I would say yes, that's true. You say yes, but yeah. uh, it's actually false. Oh, okay. I've always been bad with religions related stuff. So you're not r incorrect in that one. There's been a lot of surveys and they asked a lot of Swedes uh, how many percent they think are practicing mus uh, Islam in Sweden. And the, most of the people actually say 17%. But okay. the real number is 6%. And so it's oh, off okay. by about 10%. One point still. And we're going on to the third one. Sweden is the third largest country in Europe size-wise. True or false? Third largest. Well, it is quite a long country. It has quite a lot of area, but is it the third? What could be bigger ones? Uh, this is something I, I guess I should know. It's kind of like <laughs> sounds like a kind of basic fact. I say uh, yes. It is true. It okay, is true. Okay, nice. Good stuff. Uh, you can actually, if you put another Sweden uh, below Sweden, you get down to about Italy, I suppose. Uh, oh, so okay. the rest of Europe wow. is pretty small size-wise, but there's so many more people in the rest of Europe. But mm. Nice, two points, Mr. Alexi. Okay. And we're moving on to the fourth one here. The largest egg on record was laid by an ostrich in Sweden. True or false? Ostrich. When, when was this? The, has there? Well, it might be like a zoo or something, maybe. I say false. I just, it sounds a little bit too utopistic. It's actually true. Oh, damn it. Okay. The largest egg is actually recorded by the Guinness Re uh, World Records. And it was uh, it was laid by an ostrich at the farm in Borlinge on the 17th of May 2008. And it weighed oh, about 2 and, uh, and 2.8 kilograms, I believe. I, I'm not entirely sure about that one. But it, it's a weird fact. I don't know if that's part of Sweden to do. But who? <laughs> Interesting, right. nonetheless. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're moving I on see. to the next fact, which is Swedes are sexually liberated. True or false? This is a common uh, claim. Like in, in Finland, like many, when I was a kid, like we often made like some jokes that Swedes are like gay and stuff. And mm -hmm. But I, I think like Sweden was like more like advancing more 
was advancing faster in kind of sexual, like, you know, like same sexual stuff uh, than Finland. So I think it's yes, that's true. Uh, I think you, I, I will give you a half a point because uh, what you said is correct. Uh, oh, but okay. I think that the, the, the common misconception is that we're walking around naked and everyone is uh, ah, just that's why. open okay. to sex and everything, which is not correct. And this is uh, based on a thing that happened in the 60s where a, a, a bunch of explicit movies were uh, released and then the rumors spread and then all of a sudden the whole world thought that Sweden everyone just walks around naked and have sex every day. Oh, okay. In that <laughs> sense, okay. I think okay. what you said is actually uh, partially correct. So you, you get a, a half point more there, which okay. is you are up yeah, to... I took like a different approach. Yeah, so. Yes. So I, I enjoy that. Uh, two and a half okay. points, perhaps. Uh, moving on to the next fact, which is Sweden has the highest suicide rate in Europe. True or false? Oh. God damn. It's a pretty well, I, dark, dark fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've always kind of considered Swedes as like a happy folk and not really, <laughs> okay. really like gloomy and dark, dark people in that sense. I say false. It is false. It is false. Okay. That's... Per 100,000 people, the highest amount of suicide rate is actually Lithuania, uh, Lithuania. on 28%, okay. while Sweden had 11% uh, suicide rate. And Finland has 14%. So it's it, oh, there's okay. more suicides in Finland than in Sweden. Apparently. Oh, goddammit. Perkele. <laughs> Perkele. <laughs> Satana. All right. The longest cable railway is located in Sweden. You know the cable way well where you go on a, like uh, a line going yeah, to yeah, a yeah, yeah. hut thingy. I didn't know about this before <laughs> reading about it. Oh. It's not that you study cable railways every day, so. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how could that, well, how would it be? <laughs> I, for so, I, I feel like I would like to say false because I, I would take, assume that there would be a longer one somewhere else. I'd say false. It's actually true. Fuck! Okay. You, would, you would think it, it is in, in I don't know, uh, the South America or something like that, but yeah. the longest one in the world is located in Forsby Shopping and it's 42 kilometers long. Oh, there is shit. actually an even longer at 96 kilometers long, but it's not active anymore. So this is the one that counts in, oh, in right. the state. I didn't know about this, so... Uh, <laughs> you learn something new every day. Exactly, yeah, I just learned <laughs> yes, something as well. the, the most important part of, of time. Uh, next fact. Uh, the Vikings did not have horns on their helmets. True or false? I don't know if this is a Swedish fact, but... Uh, Sounds a little bit Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but or perhaps Danish. They have the helmets, but... Did, did they have horns? Or maybe I, I don't... Have, I can't really recall an image that they would had. They would have had horns. I'd say false. That is correct. Uh, the Vikings never had horns, or there are okay, no yeah. images of Viking having horns. This is a conception coming from uh, painters that uh, in the 1800s started to paint the Vikings with horns, and then it spread. And I think there was an, uh, a German opera. Uh, that got very famous by Richard, Richard Wagner, who did an opera uh, with the costumes with the, the horns, and then all of a sudden, all Vikings had horns. Nice. I think you're up in 5.5 or so. <laughs> well, okay, we'll see. Well, there, there's a counter somewhere here that ca keeps the count for me. I'm not good yeah. with maths. Next fact is Swedes work only six hours a day. True or false? I've read about this, but uh i think they did like an attempt like they were testing at least this but did they really kind of integrate it like to the whole country i'd say false it is false and okay, as yeah. you say we we did try it and there's a lot of people that still want it to be a thing uh, but we still work eight hours a day like i suppose most people in europe uh yeah, I would normal believe. people <laughs> Normal people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sweden was a neutral country during the major wars in the 1900s. True or false? Oh, uh, I, I think so. 
it wasn't really participating or it, at least it didn't have like a major role it, it didn't have a neutral role so i think it's uh, it is uh, correct true that it was neutral it was neutral that is actually false it's oh, really? it, it is uh <laughs> It is a common misconception that Sweden was neutral, but the fact that Sweden actually didn't do anything about the fact that Hitler uh, was allowed to uh, transport his troops uh, throughout the Swedish country, and if you c consider that neutrality or not, that's... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think that's neutrality. And there's also the fact that during uh, the Cold War, Sweden was counting on NATO to help out if Soviet was to attack Sweden. And uh -huh, even right. still to this day, uh, the Swedish military is training with the Allied forces. And I, I wouldn't consider that uh, as a neutral standpoint. It's almost a little bit coward standpoint in, in a way. So we're not picking any sides, but we still we still want to be in there, but we still don't want. So it's, it's, it's a weird uh, combination, I would say. Okay. A, a little bit of a trick question, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, no problem there. And the last fact, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you will get this one. <laughs> Most Swedes have blue eyes and blonde hair. True or false? That's that's what people say about the Finns too. <laughs> but is it just a stereotype, but is it actually true? Because it is definitely like a people, that's something that people would say about <laughs> Swedes. Uh, I think you have blue eyes too as well. <laughs> I do have blue eyes, but do I have blonde hair? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good question. Oh, now this is like really embarrassing if I get this wrong. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll say it's true. No. No? That's, that's <laughs> true. But you have no, blonde I, people at yeah, least. I, I do, I do. I don't have bl blonde hair though. Uh, I'm, I, I have dark hair. Uh, okay. But it's it's a, as you say it's a common misconception. I think they a, a lot of people think that about Norway and Denmark as well that most people there are blonde and have blue eyes. But like no no. I was kind of correct, but I still answered wrong. Yes, so. <laughs> you, I think you were you were correct on most questions in, in one sense. Then I just delivered the wrong answer. Like Fuck. yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll give you the points that it's up here on the screen. I don't know what it is, but it's something. It, it's positive. I think you yeah. did well. I, it was a lot. Of trick questions, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, Damn sweets, yeah. <laughs> Damn sweets, <laughs> Rutsalainen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> before we end, I want to quickly want to say that we did a similar video over at Alexis' channel, we uh, where I attempt to guess some facts about Finland, whether they are true or not. So be sure to check that video out. I'll try to link that video in the end of this video. And then also be sure to check his channel. Out. I make some videos about Finland and Finnish culture, Finnish people. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> like really that's, weird. That's just, how you just say like, it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right guys i hope you had a splendid time here together with us because we had a splendid time with you and until the next time i see you and your pretty faces have a splendid day my 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 mokolat <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>